Hi everybody, my name's Steph and today what we're going to do, we're going to bring you another beautiful pen and what I'm going to show you today ladies and gentlemen is my my limited edition AT Cross. Now um, this particular pen was launched for the 50th anniversary um, of the International Hall of Fame in in Newport, Rhode Island in USA. Um, as I say, this is actually a special edition. The box come well. The pen actually comes in this beautiful um, solid birch lacquered box with brass hinges to the back, um, and a, a nice little touch with this one. It actually has a magnetic clasp closure, which um, it's a beautiful solid box. You can actually hear it closes with a lovely clump. Um, if we show you inside, what you'll see first of all is the pen inside here. Um, inside the the box is this lovely um, this lovely velvet um, padding, if you like. And if I can just show you to the back there, a little bit difficult because I'm a bit short of room. But to the back here, um, we have this little section here which which opens up and. Actually, I need to show you on a sideways view. It opens up and inside what we have is a lovely um, cross cleaning cloth and inside the compartment there as well um, it, it's got the little instructions for the polishing cloth and I hope you can actually see there we've actually got the original um, cross converter here and just to the left there we have a box of six cartridges so as you can see this particular pen has never been used it's um, it's in brand new condition um, never been used never been inked a beautiful example so hopefully you can actually see that as I say a little bit difficult because um, I'm a little bit short of room here so it's got this little compartment to the back with a converter the cartridges and the cleaning cloth now to the front of the box here, as I say, a lovely um, lined box and we've got the, the solid silver pen here and just to the right here um, we've actually got a little badge or an insignia um, of, the, of the International Hall of Fame. Okay, so that's actually built if you like or made or built into the into the box itself um, let's show you the pen if we can actually just take it out here as you can see it's got the original label and to the label there it's telling us that uh, the pen is a sterling silver pen and um, the cap and the barrel um, what I'll do let me just take that label off so we can actually show you a little bit better here as I say what this is this is a 80, 80 cross as I say it was actually launched um, for uh, the 50th anniversary um, of the International Hall of Fame as I say in Newport Rhode Island USA um, it was actually presented at a dinner on the um, the 9th 9th of July in in 2004 um, and it was actually presented at the Hall of Fame and as I say, this this particular one's an, um, it's actually a limited edition. They made um, one thousand nine hundred and fifty four pens of um, of this particular model. The, the the first pen numbered number one is actually in display in it's actually on display in the museum um, at the Hall of Fame. So it's presented to them, and it's actually I believe um, on display in their museum now. At this private dinner on the um, 9th of July 2004, um, this particular pen was presented um, to the Hall of Fame members, if you like, and there was actually some famous, uh, famous names there. It was actually they were actually personally uh, presented to the likes of um, Chris Everett, uh, Rod Rod Laver, uh, John McEnroe, Virginia Wade. Um, also to I believe Hannah is it Hannah Mandlikova also received one um, and also John Newcomb received a personalised pen so they all received um, this particular limited edition pen and 
in 2004, when it was actually presented, this particular pen, um, there was actually an induction class at that particular dinner, um, and this pen again, a personalised pen, was presented to um, Steffi Graf, um, Stefan, Stefan Edberg, and also Dorothy, Dorothy Cheney, who I believe um, were actually inducted, or and they were inducted, if you like, in the class of 2004. So this particular pen was presented to some, um, well, some well-known um, tennis players. Um, the pen is actually made in sterling silver. The, the size of the pen, from the top of the cap to the bottom here, um, is approximately 148, uh, 148 millimetres. Um, and the fattest section of the barrel is approximately, it's a tad over uh, 12, 12 millimetres. Okay, so it's quite a chunky pen. It's actually quite a heavy pen as well. Um, obviously because it's made of sterling silver, that's maybe one of the reasons why it's quite a heavy pen. Um, to the barrel, um, let's see if we can actually show you with these close-ups. You'll, you'll see it has engravings um, of different... Um, if you like tennis rackets, you can actually see one there, and I believe these tennis rackets are all actually slightly different. Some of them, I think, um, are more vintage rackets, if you like, um, and the the same actually goes up to um, up to the cap there. You can see it has these engravings of these uh, of these tennis rackets, um, and they're all emblazoned, um, as I say, on the barrel and on the cap as well. So the engravings on the pen, um, as I say, tennis rackets. If we go to the top here, which obviously you've already noticed. Now, the beautiful thing about this particular pen, in conjunct cross in conjunction with uh, Swarovski, I believe Swarovski actually designed this particular clip here. Okay, and as you can see quite clearly, um, the clip is in the shape of a tennis racket. Now. Just to the top of the clip there, um, what we have is a Swarovski crystal, which um, presumably um, maybe looks like a, a tennis ball, if you like. But as I say, in conjunction with Swarovski, I believe they designed the clip, and as I say, this beautiful um, inlaid Swarovski crystal um, to, to the clip there. Okay, so a beautiful, beautiful little touch. Um, to the top of the pen, to the pen, shall I say, um, we have the words cross. Okay, so I'm hoping I can actually show you that. Okay, and as you see, to the end of the cap, it has a domed, uh, a domed top to the to the cap, and it's the same down to the bottom there as well. The the end of the the barrel has this sort of dome section. Okay, so all in all, a very nice pen. As I say, made in solid silver. Now, if we take the the cap off and put the cap to one side, um, what you'll notice it has this beautiful um, engine turned uh, section, if you like. And let's try and show you a different angles, so hopefully you can see that. Now, on the particular section there, if we turn it round, you can actually see. It is fully hallmarked solid silver. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give you a little twirl there, and hopefully, hopefully we can see the close up there. Okay, so there we have it's fully hallmarked uh, solid solid silver on on the particular section. And as I say, the section has this lovely uh, lovely engine turn pattern, um, which gives it quite a nice grip. If it was to be to be uh, written with. Now, to the top of the section, we have a, a slightly unusual nib. In that, if we can actually show you a close up, you'll see that to this particular nib, there is actually two crossed um, tennis rackets, if you like. Now, this particular nib is actually it's actually a forty. Sorry an 18 karat gold nib and it's covered in this brilliant what they term is this brilliant 
uh, rhodium. So it's got this rhodium uh, covering to the to, to the to the gold nib. Okay, I'm hoping you can actually see the pattern there. I'm trying to give you some some close-ups and keep the pen quite steady. Okay, to see the as you can see, it's got this lovely pattern of um, two, if you like, two tennis rackets that are literally sort of crossed over. Okay, I'm hoping you can actually see that. So, as I say, an 18 karat gold nib with a beautiful, brilliant uh, rhodium, um, a rhodium plate. Um, as I say, to the um, to the section there. Let's try and show you another close-up. I think that's a little bit better. I think you can see um, it's fully hallmarked uh, solid silver. So all in all, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely stunning, stunning pen. If we open the pen up, obviously there's nothing inside. Um, as I say, we've we've actually got the uh, cartridges and the converter inside the box. So this particular pen has never been inked. It's in, well, as far as I'm concerned, it's an absolutely brand new condition. And if we get the uh, the cap. And I hope you could hear that. It it actually clicks into place, so there's no wear at all because, as I say, the pen has never been used. It's in um, superb condition. Let's give you a little bit of a look at the the beautiful clip there with the Swarovski crystal. Okay, so I'm hoping you can actually see all that nice and clearly, ladies and gentlemen. As I say, there's all the. Um, the engravings of sort of different uh, different ter tennis rackets from from the different eras. I believe some of them are supposed to be, um, if you like, like vintage tennis rackets. Okay, so all in all, a very very nice pen. As I said, this particular one is a limited edition. Um, they only actually made 1,954. Now, this particular pen also comes. Um, with the certificate of authenticity now it's got this seal on here so I've not actually opened opened this particular booklet um, which I believe it may be a booklet but it is the original certificate uh, of authentication and as you can see well I'm hoping you can see this particular one is numbered uh, 353 um, of, an, of a limited edition of 1954 and again it tells you there what the pen is um, as I say it was actually presented um, at a private dinner July the 9th uh, 2004 um, to members um, and new members um, at the International Hall of Fame um, and I believe the, the Hall of Fame is actually as I say in Newport, Rhode Island, USA so in my opinion I think this is actually a rare pen so one of the things I'm actually <laughs> this is actually I've had in my collection unfortunately it doesn't get used it, it's actually I don't really appreciate it that much to be quite honest with you for, for whatever reason I don't know it's a beautiful pen it's not getting used so um, what I'm actually doing, I'm actually going to be parting company with this beautiful pen. So keep watching out. So if anybody's interested, um, why not contact me? Um, it is for sale. Um, and I say I'm, I'm actually going to be parting company with it. So anybody interested in it, you can contact me. Um, make me an offer or whatever. It is for sale and it will be going to a good home, hopefully. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this particular pen as much as I enjoyed owning it. And don't forget, um, it's going to be on on my YouTube channel. There's lots more videos there. I don't know why you people, there's lots of you people out there watching, but you're not leaving any comments. So don't be shy. Leave a comment. Or as I say, if you're interested in this, contact me. And who knows, maybe we can do we can do a deal. So for now, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it, my AT Cross Limited Edition, um, the 50th anniversary um, of the International Hall of Fame um, in Newport, Rhode Island, 
and I hope you've enjoyed looking at it. So for now ladies and gentlemen, all I'm going to say is bye now.